Scotty doing his uh, duty this morning and picking up garbage. It's not my duty. At <laughs> least it wasn't duty. No, it wasn't duty. <laughs> I think somebody's napkin. stuff flew off their picnic table or something. Actually, there are no picnic tables here. You have to bring your own if you want to have a table. <sighs> There's nothing provided out here. No restrooms. Um, no fire pits. Nothing. No tables. It's just pure wilderness out here. It's beautiful. <laughs> really nice. If I look half awake, it's because <laughs> I'm half awake. It's very early. <laughs> it's really early. It's Well, the sun is just coming up. We're going to walk over here to this field, and hopefully the elk are out this morning. So uh, We got up at 5.30 to go do this, which I'm, yes. always, I'm usually always up, but... And, it, and it's taken us a half an hour to get this far. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is what we couldn't show you guys last night when we were sitting by the fire. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Well, I don't see any elk, but there are people over here watching or standing down there by the lakeside, so we'll keep going. Did you say, oh, I'm serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these people moved out of the site. We're back here, and we don't have a very good view of the lake. We do, but it's... not. It's kind yeah. of obscured, yeah. And plus I can get some sun. I'm moving. Okay. Down. All right, you go get yours, Rig, and then we'll stay here. So we're going to move down here. And then that will give us, ooh, the sun's going to be in your eyes. That will give us a beautiful view right here. I don't see any elk. But you know, still. It's not what I expected out of a lake. I It seems like more like a marsh. Yeah. To me, but. Maybe it's the time of, I would think with all the rain that it would be. Right. Maybe, But maybe the lake's up further. I, I, I can definitely, know. I can definitely hear the birds down there. Yeah. A lot of them. There's a road right over here to the left of us. Um, but the beginning of it, when you circle around up through this uh, little outlet up here, is kind of washed away. So I haven't seen anybody go down there. Yeah, you can really hear the birds listen. As soon as Aja gets... What is that? It's those ducks. <laughs> wow. They're running on the water. Okay, we'll get closer it's down amazing. there. You can hear that noise all the way here. Right? Okay. Like I was just saying, we'll get closer down there as soon as Aja gets moved and saves this spot for us. So Aja was just saying that uh, there's no lake. <laughs> no, it's dried up. Where is it normally? Usually at? it's, you can see it, it's it's pretty expansive. It comes all the way up to see where those ridges are right there. Right. Yeah. All that, see, see you can tell where it usually is. It's all gone. Yeah, it's, it's not much of a lake. You see a little puddle over there. No. Maybe they need more rain. Yeah, it's more like a marsh to me. Well, because you remember we're on top of a bluff, so... And then this, I guess it would probably go down like, you know, uh, rivers do. Right. So, it must need more rain. Well, I missed the one elk that went running through here. My battery died <laughs> right as we spotted him. Well, hopefully you'll catch some more tomorrow if you right. can get up early. So 4.30 is the alarm set this time. <laughs> okay. 5.30 isn't early enough. Not much water. Do you hear him? I do, I hear him. That's the elk. Scotty's over here. He's going to move our vehicle over here with Aja so we have a better view. 
So we're in the Coconino National Forest. This national wetland is managed by the U.S. Forest Service in cooperation with Ducks Unlimited, Inc. and the Arizona Game and Fish Department as a wa uh, waterfowl area. The shoreline has been fenced and seeded to enhance veg vegetative cover necessary for duck nesting. Close to all motorized vehicles. Camping campfires prohibited. So that is um, beyond this wood fence area. But you can camp anywhere on the other side. And they got a trail here. Foot traffic only. We might go check that out. Scotty scored himself a bike. <laughs> Aja moved her rig and we got so excited about walking down here. And uh, Scotty went over and got it for her. Well, he's kind of smushed. And even though I don't like snakes, I don't like to see that. That's too bad. Well, you can see how massive this area is. There we are, way over there. Oh boy. Coyotes? I don't know. I don't know if they'd be making noise this time of morning, but... Sure noise. sounded like a pack of coyotes. But yeah, you can see how massive this area is. Gorgeous. Well, there's a pretty good indentation of a uh, elk hoof. We've seen some other ones. Uh, but Aja was saying that they come down through these areas up here, down into the lake. So hopefully we'll get to see that tomorrow morning. Well, it looks like there might be a campsite up here. Let's go check it out. Maybe not so good for bigger rigs, but we could definitely get up in here. Yeah, not a bad sight. It's not a uh, level. Got quite a few fire pits going on. Ooh, that was a little hike up there. <laughs> I had to pedal. Yeah. yeah. You could get a couple rigs in up here. The rocks around here are all volcanic rock. They all have little holes in them. Well, there's another one. They don't get very far. They don't make it across this road very far. Very well. <laughs> yeah. That is quite the elaborate web. Hole? No, but you can see the hole. You can see the what? You can see where the spider hole is. Oh. Alright, we're going to walk down to the water's edge as far as we can go. I don't know how soft it is. But yep, yeah, just not very much water. These are poop pellets. There's something with these poop pellets too. <laughs> there must be uh, deer. some deer down here as well. Sure is beautiful. Yeah, little deer have come down here. You can see their hoof prints another footprint of something. Maybe raccoon? Not sure. Well, as beautiful as this is, I think it's time to go back to the camper, reset up, and have some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Drink my coffee. I shouldn't have left it there. <laughs> All right, we're going to head back. Well, we didn't get to see any elk today, but the deer are out here feeding, so that's nice.